Hi and welcome back to another Mr Talbot Maths video. I want to start off this video by saying Happy New Year to everybody um, that's watching this video on uh, New Year's Day or if you're watching after it, Happy New Year to you as well. Um, I hope that it brings all the things that you want and that you achieve all the goals that you've set, if you've set any. So this problem that we're looking at today, it's got X's on the top left and top right of this triangle. It's got 2023 20, and X on the bottom or the base of this triangle. And then it's got an inside length of square root X. And we've got to work out what X is. Now, the first thing you might want to do, or the first thing I wanted to do with this question, it's important to say actually that there's many different ways of doing this problem, any problem really. And if you've got a different way, feel free to write it down in the comments below, or if there's any shortcuts, I always appreciate a shortcut, to put that in the comments as well below. Um, but this is the way that I did this question, and so what I wanted to do first of all is I wanted to split this up into two triangles, because I thought that might make it easier. Um, and that can allow you to see different things a little bit easier, maybe like something like similarity or otherwise. Uh, so I did that first of all, and that gave me two shapes that look like these two down below, obviously two triangles again. One has got entirely X's involved, um, and the other obviously has got a number in there. First thing to notice uh, from this triangle is that actually we've got two angles either side that are the same because it's isosceles. Okay, those lengths are the same, and so the base angles must be the same. Now that tells me that these angles here must also be the same because it's the same triangle, just split into two smaller triangles. Um, now from there, it might be a little bit tricky about what we do from that point. The thing that I decided to do that I thought was best was perhaps using the cosine rule because I noticed, well, I've got three lengths of a triangle and I've got an angle in there which should be the same. And so could I use the cosine rule to help me in, in that way. Now, the cosine rule, if you can't remember or you're not familiar, um, is a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2 times b times c times by cos of capital A, where that's the angle. And so lowercase a is opposite the angle. So in each of these, my lowercase a is going to be root x. And then b and c, it doesn't matter which way round you do those. So b could be x for the left hand one, or it could be c, and then b or c is 20-23, b and c are both x for this one. Now, what I need to do slightly differently here is I'm working out the angle, I'm not working out a side, so I need to rearrange this. Now if I rearrange it, I'm going to get that a is equal to the angle, is equal to cos minus 1 of um, b squared plus c squared minus a squared all divided by 2bc. Okay. Now, for, at this point, I'm going to start plugging in my values, or my x and root x. So, starting off with the left-hand side, I'm going to get um, the angle A here, and A is the same in both, um, is cos minus 1, so this is for the left-hand side, b squared, so that's x squared, plus 2023 squared minus root x squared, which will give me x, all divided by 2 times by, and I am going to simplify this afterwards, 2 times b times c, so 2 times x times 2023. Now if I simplify the denominator there, 2 times 2023 is 4046, so we get 4046. X. Now, interestingly, A is also equal to, because these are the same angles here, cos minus 1, and use the right-hand triangle now, uh, we've got B squared plus C squared, so X squared plus X squared, uh, minus A squared, so again, minus uh, an X, because root X squared is X, all divided by 2 times B times C, so 2 times x squared. Now I can simplify this, so I'm going to simplify that in there. Now the numerator will simplify to x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. I've got 2x squared minus x. Now 
what we can do from here is cancel out with the denominator. 2x squared divided by 2x squared will give me 1. Okay, so I'm going to get 1 minus x divided by 2x squared. And that's a little bit trickier to simplify. Uh, but if I just get rid of the first bit, cancel this bit out, that will give us 1 at the start. So we end up with 1 minus x over 2x squared. Now, what we'll have here is that the x on the top will cancel with an x on the bottom. So I'll end up with 1x on the bottom rather than 2. And then I will just end up on the numerator with 1 on the top because I've cancelled out the x. I've divided top and bottom by x, if you like. And so I end up with minus 1 over 2x. Okay. Now, I'm nearly at the key point here. Basically, I'm basically at the key point. A is equal to both of these things. And so these things are equal to each other. And what I can do is I can actually, well, I can take the cos of both sides or I can essentially cancel out the cos minus 1 because if I put both of these things into cos minus 1 to get an angle, then actually, without going too in-depth into the cos function, because these are both the same angle and they're both acute anyway, they'll give me the same value, which means these two things must be the same. x squared plus 2 plus 2023 squared minus x over 4046x, and 1 minus 1 over 2x must be the same thing. So, what I'm going to do now, I am going to write x squared plus 2023 squared minus x over 4046x is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2x. Now, from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 4046x. Okay, so I'm going to get x squared plus 2023 squared minus x is equal to 4046x. And then I've got minus 4046x over 2x. And that will simplify to give me... Um, well, 4046 divided by 2 uh, will give me 2023, and the x's will cancel out. So I'm going to get 2023. So minus 2023. Now I've got a quadratic here, so I'm going to need to solve that. I need to get everything onto one side. So I'm going to do um, something here which... Uh, well, I... <laughs> I'm going to try and collect all the terms together. I'm going to try and collect all my x squared terms, which is easy, because there's only one. Try and collect all my x terms and all my uh, integer terms. So, x squared is fine. I've now got a minus x, so minus 1x, but I've also got 4046x. Now, what I can simplify that to is, this was, well, this is, 4046 is 2 times 2023. So I'm taking away 2 times 2023 and another 1, put that in brackets, x. Okay. Now I'm then also taking, well, I'm, <clears throat> I've also got, not taking away, sorry, I've also got 2023 squared plus, because I'm adding the 2023 to both sides to cancel out, the minus 2023, I've got this, 2023 squared plus 2023. Okay. Now, what I next need to do is, well, I'm trying to manipulate this in a way which is nice and easy to factorise. I could just use quadratic formula and that is possible, uh, but it's a lot nicer to do it this way because of the way we've got these numbers here. I can alter them very, very slightly. Now, I can split this up in the brackets into... 2023 times by 2023, sorry, 2023 add 2023, because two lots of 2023 is 2023 add 2023, add a 1, lots of x, and then this last bit here, well that is 2023 times 2023, add another 2023, is equal to zero. Now at this point I'm very close to having something which is very nice to factorise. 
So x squared minus, well, 2023 add, 2023 add 1, that's the same as 2023 add 2024, x, okay, interesting, uh, plus, well, if I've got 2023 lots of 2023, and I add another one, I've actually got 2024 lots of 2023. Now on this point, hopefully you can see what this is going to factorise into, because I can see what the factor of my whole number is, or uh, what two, well, two of the factors are, 2024 and 2023. Now, they have got to add to give me a negative number here, and so essentially what I'm going to get is I need two numbers that add to give me a negative and multiply to give me a positive, and so I'm going to get x minus... 2023 and x minus 2024 okay that's equal to zero because I've got two numbers there they add to give me this okay because they're both negative the answer would be negative um, and they multiply to give me this well they both would because negative times negative is a positive and so I get two solutions x is 2023 or x is 2024 and so naturally we're going to assume that both those are possible solutions however if we use 2023 and we go back to our original triangle if this is 2023 and these are 2023 well that triangle isn't possible and the reason that's not possible is because well actually the length of these two sides has to be long added together. The length of those two um, top left and top right hand sides added together has to be longer than the base because otherwise it wouldn't have any perpendicular heights. It would just form a straight line again. Um, yeah. The two other sides of a triangle added together have to always be longer than the third side. Uh, and so this scenario where they're all 2023 20, actually isn't possible because the two other lengths, the top left, top right added together will be 4046 which is equal to the length of the base and so they won't have any perpendicular height and so root x would actually be zero which isn't possible. And so that isn't a possible solution and so we're left with the only possible solution which is appropriately 2024. I hope you enjoyed that problem. It's got quite a neat answer and it actually uses, well, it uses mathematics, which is GCSE level, um, with obviously an extra layer of problem solving there. Okay, like I said, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you had any other ways of doing it, please share those in, in the comments so that I can see those because I'm always interested in other ways or shortcuts or anything like that that people are uh, keen to share. Okay, uh, thank you and have a, a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I really appreciate it and I really appreciate all the likes and everybody that subscribes to the channel. If you like this video, then there should be plenty more videos just up here. Uh, hopefully it's, it's here. That's where it should be, the one that you want to watch next. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.